Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. It is 6.15 in the morning. And the reason the shadows are so bad is because the time of day it is. The sun is starting to peek through the window, so I don't quite have natural light. I'm having to turn every light in the room on. So please um, ignore the shadows. All right. Um, I saw the most wonderful post on Instagram from Posca Pins that just lit my brain on fire. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take two Instagram posts that I saw and I'm going to, to use them in a creative way for something that I just, I never thought was a thing, you know. You don't know it till you see it, and then you're like, oh, I, I, I knew that. So what I have here is Apple Barrel White Matte Acrylic Paint, and I have a lot of it. I don't know why I bought such a big bottle. Oh, okay, so here are my instruments of love. I went out in town over Memorial Day weekend, and I found four clay pots for a dollar each. No, there's no trays to them. I don't really care because they're going outside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint them all white. Whoops, if I don't break one of them first. I'm going to paint them all white and then we'll go on to the next step. All right, I peeled all the crusties off the outside and then I discovered that this was plugged up, so had to resort to toothpicks. So this is not, I'm not washing these things off because I could care less. I want them to look kind of grungy later. Not right now. <laughs> um, so I saw this, whoops, flicking it everywhere. Great. I saw this really great idea on, um, on Instagram, post a Posca pin post where you, Draw with your Posca pins all over flower pots. Hello, it never occurred to me. And it's such a simple idea. I mean, I don't know why I didn't figure this out. So today, uh, uh, and then I was inspired by a potter's post and I am crazy about this woman's pottery. I just can't afford it. I mean, it is, it is lovely and I'm sure it's worth every penny of her time she puts into it, but I just don't have that kind of money to spend on. Oh, it's dripping on the inside. I just don't have that kind of money. Not, not for that. Not for one piece of pottery. That's probably this size or even smaller. Not that it's not worth it. I just can't afford it. I can't justify the price for our budget. Let's put it that way. Um, so I'm going to try to combine two ideas into one project. You know, I usually fool around with paper, but I, we have been trying to up our game for our gardening. My husband is building a patio on the back of the house right now with um, stone that we purchased at the local garden center here in mini, mini population town USA, mini meaning M-I-N-I, -I. Um, and we bought two planters, wouldn't we had two, well, we bought two cedar, wooden cedar planters. We've been trolling big lots, ollies, and places like that for, um, those big, huge ceramic planters that people put trees in and stuff. I've been watching a lot of DIY gardening videos for unusual planting things, although the pots aren't that unusual, but I just like the idea. So we've been trying to up our game for curb appeal, although nobody ever comes in our, in our circle where we live except for the three residents who live, three people who own houses out here, but I don't care. I just want it to look nice. All right, so this stuff is soaking up the paint, which is fine with me. It's cheap paint. I don't care. Eventually, when I get done with fooling around with these, I will um, 
seal them with a sealer so that they don't, you know, come apart right away from being outside. And I think these will probably have succulents in them. At the local garden center, you know, part of it's covered and then the other part is open. And I find this so funny that the part that's covered has succulents in it. When I asked one of the um, employees to ask the owner, did they have to be in the, s s the shade? They say, yeah, she freaks out <laughs> when you ask her about that because she doesn't want them to go in the sun. And I thought, okay, weren't succulents grown in a desert environment? Like chicks and hens and, you know. Anyway, so I have my porches shaded through probably 75% 75 of the day, and the only sun it gets is early morning sun, which is not as harsh as, you know, 1.30, 3 o'clock sun. So she said, yeah, she thought that would be okay. So I bought little pots at Big Lots when they were on sale and dug out the, what's really silly, I dug out the plastic flowers and the styrofoam that were in the pots because it was cheaper to buy that and tear it up than it was to buy an actual flower pot, which just confounds me. So um, my husband took a, a drill and drilled a hole in them for me because, you know, they weren't meant for live plants and drilled a hole in them. We went over to the garden center and I put little succulents in them and I am thrilled with the way they look. So at the other house, I did have a little succulents, the chicks and hens, or hens and chicks, whatever they're called, in uh, planter boxes that were hanging on a fence that separated the garden from the yard because we didn't want the dogs going in there to do their business. Nothing is more aggravating than to go out to garden and end up with um, extra ingredients on the bottoms of your shoes. So I, I don't know if I gave them away or sold them or what I did with the wire baskets, the oblong wire baskets that I bought, but we didn't have them when we moved here and I had to buy new ones and I, they're kind of cheesy. But I did buy the coconut liners and um, put them out in the yard and I was going to put the chicks and hens in them until, you know, the lady said, oh, she'd freak out if you did that. I was like, okay. So I put impatience in them, but they will be moving to another part of the yard. I won't leave them out where they are in full sun as soon as I figure out a way to hang them on the fence. We have a six foot privacy fence and so I want to hang them up there. But as soon as I figure out a way to attach them to the fence, I'm moving them to where I can see them instead of a different part of the yard. All right, so this is paint talk. And the reason I'm doing this so early in the morning is because my dog barks. And as much as I love him, <laughs> it is annoying to try to film. Well, he's in there having a bark fest in the living room with my husband. Um, so this is the only time I can do voiceovers or do videos where I talk on them because, bless his heart, he's an old English bulldog and he just has moments where he's very vocal. And those are always when I'm trying to film. When he's quiet and sleeping is when <coughs> I'm not filming. You know, Murphy's Law. Okay, well, we've got, whoops, three out of four. I cannot wait to do this. I, I'll show you the posts, if I can find them. I will show you the posts that inspired me as soon as I get done doing this. I am very excited about this. I don't know how it's going to turn out. I've never done this before, so this will be a first. You know how I am. I dive in, and then I'm like, oh, well, that was unexpected results. Eh, it's okay. They're just pots and it's $4. <laughs> so, you know, if they don't go well, it doesn't matter. They're still going outside with plants in them. And the only person who'll see them is my, or people who'll see them is my husband and I and the neighborhood birds we feed. That's about it. Maybe the dogs. I don't think they look up that high. I have a couple wire racks on my back porch where I have plants that are more shade inclined. I tried to grow coleus but from seed, but I don't know if I got a bad batch of seeds or what the deal is, but that did not go well. All right, let me fast forward through the rest of this mess and we will be started. Okay, so I got all the pots painted 
on the outside and the lip and now I'm just letting them dry. They're very cold to the touch, which tells me they are not dry. So it's going to take a few minutes. All right, so here is my inspiration. This is a pose by Posca Pins. And I went nuts. How silly is that? They're saying in this post that pasta works great on 50 plus surfaces. And then it says, it may just be us, but the season... But this season, we have been planting a lot. When you use terracotta and want to make your very own Posca to spice it up, scroll through and see what the other artists came up with. And I, oop, that, is that Posca? Th these are just Posca's posts about how people have used their pens. Uh, this is, they're doing it on sneakers, which I would die if I did on sneakers and one drop of, the environment got on them, I would die. All right, there's earrings. This is not the terracotta post. Anyway, so I thought, okay, I want to do this. I do, and it says, um, you could finish with a clear coat sealant of your choice. So this is, they're answering questions that people are posting about how to take care of your terracotta pot once you do Posca on it. <gasps> OMG. So, like, I have to do this. Okay, so then there was um, another post. Let me put it on here if I can remember the lady's name. And I have loved her stuff, and I follow her. Let me find her stuff. Okay, her name is Suzanne Sullivan Ceramics. What is not to love about that black and white stuff? I mean, how can you not love this stuff? Well, those of you who doodle and like black and white. It's just, oh, it's just fantastic. It's doodling on clay. And I'm like, ah, well, pfft, terracotta pots, here I come. So you know what's coming next, right? <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> Oops, ta-da! So this is still feeling a little dampish. All right, let me let it dry for a couple of hours, and then I will be back to do my thing. Okay, so I've touched the pots, and they feel a little warmer, although, you know, it's not a total... Oh, this is the coldest one. Yeah, maybe it is an indication. All right, so I'm going to take... This Posca, which is PC 5mm, bullet shaped. So it's 1.8 to 2.5 millimeters. And I'm going to go to town on the pot. Now, one of the ones I really liked, I really like this design, is the Chevron design. Now, uh, the Suzanne Sullivan's art has gold in it, and I'm not going to put gold on mine, so. Oh, it feels very, oh, that feels lovely. Look at that. I'm just going to do lines down the pot. The hardest part will be getting the lip down here. It'll be all right. I'll fast forward through this part for you guys.
Okay, so far I have finished this one, basically. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I can't decide what to do around here, so I'm going to leave this to cure a little bit and decide what I want to do. I don't know if I want to make it look like this one with the black under here. That'll, I don't know. Maybe I should just do black around the, where the white band is, where the top is. I just, I'm, I'm not sure. Do I really want to doodle on all that? I don't know. It, I don't, it might be easier than going underneath here, which I covered up with the black paint because it looked a little weird. So I covered it up. So I might do that on every one of them that has the bridge like that where I've had to do stuff. Although this one didn't go as badly. And then I had a Posca pen bloop. And so I tried to cover it up. It didn't go so well, but it's okay. It'll be covered up with more Posca lines and stuff when I get started. So I still have this one and I'm looking for ideas for it. So that is my status report halfway through this. I'll be back when I have more to show you.